Do I hear an undercover assignment coming on? Lucky for you guys, I happen to be a master of disguise. <laughs> Yeah, a green mongoose is gonna blend right in. Dude, it is totally brunged. Brunged. Ooh, bad grammar. Bad out of scarum. Ooh, you know what'd be fun? Let's all go out for waffles. Raven, you like waffles, don't you? More than life itself. See, it all started back in 1492 with this tea party in Boston. King George, or maybe it was King Norm. Anyway. The British were trying to make the colonists drink all this tea. But they were like, dude, no way. We're sick of nasty old tea and your crummy English muffins. So they decided revolution. Where'd you learn history? A cereal box? What's your point? This cyborg is way more fun. <laughs> Booyah! Any chance we could replace Beast Boy with a robot too? Cut it out. I'll be struck by... I have journeyed to the Mall of Shopping and discovered the joy of earthly hair ornaments. Do you wish to? No. Consider this a warning. As of last night, Mr. Nice Guy has left the building. Is this the part where I'm supposed to be intimidated? Super. City Hall. We should be able to hide here. Till Mad Mod's tanks come to tear it down. Whoa. That was actually more depressing than what I was gonna say. So, you and the curtains had some sort of argument? Uh, yes. Today is Gorb Gorb, the Tamaranian Festival of Berating Drapery. Stupid curtains! Aliens. And I'm a rabbit. Why? Arguing solves nothing. Now, how would Beast Boy know something like that? <laughs> I may have kind of been a, a fly on the wall in your room. Funny, you look more like a rat to me. You morphed me! How did you do that? <laughs> Two words. Breath mints. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you should call me Beast Man from now on. We're having a moment here. Don't ruin it. Hey, when we got home, you kind of ran to your room and locked the door. Anything you want to talk about? No. Uh, why does that rabbit sound like Raven? Because I am Raven. Oh, you look so cute! <laughs> uh... I'm not fixing that overgrown bucket of Robo Scrunch, and there's nothing you grot slippers could ever do or say to make me say it. Go! <laughs> I'll help. I'm sure you're eager to see who you'll be spending the rest of your life with. <laughs> Starfire, meet your groom, Glurtle Scletch. Um, he's cute. Fascinating. Can we go home now? I need a shower in the worst way. And with a curse more ancient than Foul Rorek himself, I... What? We're here tonight with an exclusive offer. A once-in-a-lifetime chance to get in on America's fastest-growing sports sensation. The hot new game we just made up. Stank Ball! <laughs> Woo! Wanna be referee? Go.
away. But please? Everybody loves a good game of stank ball. And we need a referee to play the lightning round. No. <laughs> I'd really rather just stay here and drown. <sighs> yeah, it's been totally lame here without you. Raven stinks at video games. It's like she isn't even trying. Just because you glued the controller to my hands doesn't mean I want to play. <laughs> Smashing. You must be the luckiest girl in the world. And this beast boy sounds like an absolute genius. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. Yes, I am hopeful we will not encounter more Hive soldiers. Had to say something. <laughs> and now I smell like rhino butt. <sighs> now hold on, Raven, don't go! <laughs> <laughs> We're shutting you down, Johnny. And your little dog, too. Everyone all right? Super, until we run out of air. Okay, really not something I needed to see.